But Alex Love is he's in the Rankin County at the uh, shelter there in Brandon, which is filling up uh, very uh, quickly. Uh, Galax, so what's the situation at the safe room in Brandon? I understand that you said earlier that uh, they have a capacity, but they're not going to turn anybody away. You bet, Byron. So that capacity is about 500 people. We have a little more than 275, I'm told, by the Rankin County Sheriff's Department. You can see behind me how busy it is. This is how serious people are taking the storm. It is filled up with pretty much every table, having a couple families at it. So many different people are in here. The elderly, we have young families. We have children running around trying to stay, stay busy. And people also brought their pets. You are allowed to bring pets here, but they have to stay on a leash or be in cages. Many people explained at their homes they don't have a safe room. They don't have a basement to go down to. They said they could not take any chances and had to come here. The Rankin County Sheriff's Office said that they'll keep this that they'll keep this building open as long as the storms are to the west of us and they won't they won't close it until they they go further east. We spoke to one woman who explained she could not take the chances being at home alone with her two children. Take a look. In Okay, we, 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 uh, my apologies, some difficulties there. We do have an interview coming soon. We've been speaking to a lot of people, but again, like I said, they said they could not take any chances. They explained to me they had to come here and they'll be here as long as they have to. You can also bring essential snacks if you need, if you need some food. You're encouraged to wear a mask. They are providing some if you don't have any, as well as hand sanitizer and some gloves. Again, more updates to come from Rankin County. We've lucked out so far with not the worst of the weather, like down in the Pine Belt, but there's more waves to come and it'll be a threat until a little after. After 10 p.m. For now, live in Brandon, Alex Love, 12 News. Let me ask you this. Obviously, What's that, Melanie? Well, actually, um, I mean, obviously, people have taken the warnings very seriously because that shelter is packed. You said you had talked yes, to a people woman. people are taking it very seriously. All right, well, we'll wait yes, until I spoke. We I spoke to a woman, Melanie, and she explained. Go yes. ahead. Yes, I spoke to a woman, Melanie, and she explained it. She she explained that she was here with a couple of her kids, and they said that they could not take any chances because Mima says always find a safe room. People here in single-story homes, as well as trailer parks, they don't always have a safe room to go to. Those are not ideal shelters, so they had to come here. And by the way, the address here is 651 Marquette Road in Brandon. In case you still need to come, some came from out of the county. Again, I'll let I'll let you guys take a look behind me. The room is completely filled with so many families. They they brought some work here to do. They brought some games to play, and they're willing to stay here until the final storm wave passes, but that could be a little after 10 p.m. Byron, Melanie, 